Oh no, it's down. Oh, it's over here. Okay, we have to do this mission first. Apparently. That's what it says. So, we will do that then first. This MZ mission. Hang on. Grab a taxi. I was wondering why I wasn't getting any, getting any phone calls or anything, but usually those MZ missions, or those side missions in general, don't really have much to do with the, with the main story, but here it seems like it might be a little bit of a prerequisite, so we'll, we'll do it now. As soon as this taxi shows up. Here it is. Hey, we're here. Ah, right, here we go. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes. Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. Saying. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right, you grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. So he's gonna go and do his own thing, alright? Yeah. And we have to go to the observatory. So how far is this away, actually? Because it might be easier just to catch a cab. Uh, it might actually be easier. But we are just gonna jump in a car. Steal the life out of me! Yep, here we go. It doesn't really matter with the music at this point because regardless of what I do, because of the, the background music in this game, I'm getting a copyright strike in nearly every one of my videos. So, well, not a copyright strike, but uh, copyright notices, Mike, essentially. Mike, get out. I got some poor bastard's dirt bike! Yeah, okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. Guy has trouble getting it out. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We <laughs> weren't case in the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. 
The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? A wife like that? Really? <laughs> interesting. Very interesting taste, Trevor has. Alright, half a mile to go. Oh, hang on. Let me chuck a left. Alright, here we go. Nearly there. Isn't this like the same place we went for that Federal Bureau of Investigation? I swear it's like the same place. Isn't it like the same? I swear this is where we went for it. Yeah, it is. Huh, okay. It's also an observatory, apparently. Where's the van? Alright, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. I'll show you some shit, you little fuck. Fuck me! What the fuck? I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take wow. it down the jet. Keep looking for it. There it is. There it is. Out past downtown. The jet's moving. <laughs> Gotta give a lead. <laughs> nope. Yes. Nailed it, mate. Plane's coming down. You want it? Follow the plane? Oh, okay. Hang on, get rid of this waypoint. Let's go get this plane, baby. Right off the edge we go. Oh, so sick. Driving it, look at that, he's still flying the plane. You're kidding. You really had to turn right there. Yeah, past the airfield. Gotta go over it. Oh. Man, he's, he's 
holding on for ages. Guys. They're in the dirt. Good. Get the files. And if the cousin made it, take him out. Sure thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. He's one. See you, mate. Go inside the plane. That was a sick mission. <laughs> We're just gonna teleport back to the house. No, back to Michael. Leave the area. Yeah, because we'll use Michael to start the mission, so it probably just takes me back to him, that's why. Oh, destroy the van. Yeah, okay. Uh, what are we gonna do? We'll put it over here. Oh, we can do this. Put some of this on. Bring it over here. Should be enough. Alright, we're good. Wow, it takes a while to burn over, doesn't it? Like, you're kidding? That doesn't blow it up? Alright, we'll do it like this then. Wow, that can take a beating, can't it? Van. Alright, Van's down. Get back to this. We just need to get back to his house now, right? We could take a taxi, but I'm not sure if it would actually let me take a taxi because we're still inside of the mission, essentially. We've got a car coming up now, though. What the shit? Dear God. Alright, there we go. Off we go. Jump off here. Oh, we can't break through that? I guess that works too. That's like the next best thing. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nailed it. <laughs> Perfect landing. So, cement works half a mile away. This shouldn't take too long. It's just there, I think. Chuck it left. Take 
massive exemptions. What? Somewhere here. Oh, here. Where is yeah. he? People are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Tom! don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, <laughs> But I did kidnap his wife! Oh no! Oh shit! What the fuck did you do? Oh, <laughs> I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. <laughs> oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods, you know what I'm saying. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trevor's always fucking stuff up. Kaida Libre, we're good. Oh, that's it, okay, back to Franklin, I guess. Got D unlocked now. That's trio, homie. When taking chop for a walk, Franklin can play Fletch using the ball in the weapon wheel. Oh, he's just randomly taking the dog for a walk. Bring it back, boy. What? <laughs> That's sick. Huh? Could we just do this like at any time, or is this? Wow, that's interesting. So many random things. Whistle to him to bring him back. Such a crazy game, this one. Alright, let's set up our point at D. And we're not that far away, but I think we're going to take a cab anyway. Just because it is a little bit quicker. I need a cab as soon as possible. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Make sure, the, make sure the dog doesn't get run over. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's experiment with this. Oh, they stopped for the dog as well. You're blocking my way and my tea, asshole. There's my cab. Here he is. Alright, I'm assuming we're going to lose the dog now. You know the way home. What was that? Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Play the part? I don't really want to do an acting gig, to be honest. Find the actor. Don't want to look too suspicious. We'll put a gun away for the time being. You can knock out the actor to get his clothes. Yeah, we could do that. We'll just go creepy. Like creeping up on him. Here we go. <laughs> Deep inside. There we go. Looking clear, pretty flashy. Get in the car. So are we at the acting gig now, or do we have to drive somewhere? Or maybe we're like you a stuntman, like 007. 
Brandon. Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's oh, gonna find him. Sick. What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post. What get the hell are you doing? We gotta get some control of this set. Get him out of here. Oh, we're taking the car from the set, from like the the action movie. That's sick. So this is the fourth. Hang on. Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here. Studio security are shutting your ass down, Marco. They ain't gonna be on us for Lose security. Okay. So this is the fourth of the five cars that we need. Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean. Oh, she keeps grabbing the wheel, and it's so hard to steer. I'm just interested in the whip. What's this? Spikes? What do you mean? What do you mean, the whip? I can buy this car with what I make in a morning. That'll do. I think you underestimate the value of this automobile. I overestimate your own. Mate, she keeps grabbing the wheel. Stop it. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I am making. You paid a couple of minutes for a morning's work? Shit. Oh, he's still behind me. Yeah, no way. Shit. Yes. I've been abducted by a crazed man. Girl, please. I like some of your work. All right, there we go. We got them both. What happened when I pressed this? Thank God. Now we've lost her. She kept grabbing the wheel. So hard to control. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drum. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those is going to need replacing, all right? Good. Yep. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Suspicious figure near the garage, okay, so where we're gonna put the car in, I guess. And there might be someone there lurking around, apparently. Thread the needle. Thread the needle! <laughs> This slow motion feels like I'm cheating a little bit. Whoa. Alright, we're nearly there. Chuck on the left. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, hey, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? It's two hour Lamar, female dude, orgasm. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. 
Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. I don't know if I trust Lamar with all that stuff, but whatever. Deep inside, that opens up the next Michael mission, which is up top over here. Pull the cab. Scoot on over there. I don't really see much point in driving anywhere at this I need point. A cab as soon as possible. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Appreciate it. The cab just gets you there so much quicker. Unless it's like just around the corner, obviously. Where's my cab, mate? Here it is. Hey, yo, what up, yo, dude. Off we go. That's the ride, my man. Back to Michael. I wonder how long it would have lo taken to load these scenes on a like last generation console because this game did come out in 2013 and I think that was the launch of the of like the Xbox One and PS4 would have taken so long to load on those on those consoles I think Where you at man your house is empty Oh hey I had to kind of lay low for a while Yeah that nice Mexican we met me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing, nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Now bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> oh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. Can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> you are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. <laughs> Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. But... Great, let's go. All right, get in the plane. What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Okay, well, I knew that you wow. were pissed after the Merryweather heist. We're gonna take out the plane in the air? That this sounds like a pretty shit. sick mission. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. Hold oh. on! In the company Whoops. of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good ah, thing, there. where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? 
I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast. Just the plain eye. Oh, whoops. I always forget to slow down so much. Sometimes if you're like only moving a little bit, just clicking to get out of the car slows it down automatically. But if you're too fast, then it just bails. <laughs> Contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV. Fly to cargo plan. Here we go. Get off the ground, baby. Yes. There's no putting the wheels up in this plane. as low as possible. All right, let's double check how far away this actually is. It's over here. So do we have to fly as low as possible the whole time or not a hundred percent sure. Man, I wish my flying skills were up a little bit more because the plane, like it jitters around a lot. Oh yeah, I see the plane. I know it's in my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment when you cut up to that? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald! Let's just get there first. You're really keen to send some. I'm plenty low enough, Ron. Yeah, I think that beeping was me being too high above the ground. And like they said, if I'm too high, the military base will detect where I am. Don't enter this airspace, okay? Yeah. So we'll fly around. Alright, here we go. Now we can start covering some ground on it. It's gonna take a while though. Lose altitude. How am I meant to get up to this plane though? Like, it's moving so much faster than I am. I can't really cut across the island to catch up. Maybe we can get the plane when it lands, but he doesn't want to do that. He wants to get it in the air. I don't really understand how he expects to catch up to it though, if we're only traveling this quick. I can't really go much faster. We're slowly gaining a bit of ground, but it's actually taking forever. Are you sure about this, T? Most certainly. These bricks, Merriweather, they're what? Using these guns for a coup in West Africa? Protecting some mineral-rich warlord? Confiscating the weapons is practically a public service. Karmically, I'm... we're golden! What's not to be sure about? 
Oh, I guess we're slowly catching up, but it's taking forever, though. Let's right, cut across here. Okay, so we're waiting for that. We're, we're waiting to get out of military airspace. Here we go. Alright, we're on the same altitude now. Oh, here we go. We are clear to Fly inside the cargo plane, you're kidding. The cargo rams are opening, the crop dusters can land inside. <laughs> Alright, baby. Let's go. You don't have much health left there. Yes. Up we go. Nailed it. Sluggishly. Right, hang on, double check where on the map that is. Is that. It's our airfield, right? Oh, it's over here. Destination. Yeah, we got a long way to go. Because we're not landing in the city anymore. Attitude doesn't do anything to these planes, they're just following. This is your final warning. Divert now for be engaged. Hey, you wouldn't shoot me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. I think they would. We're slowly getting close to our. Fox 2, 
Are they going to engage? Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is the craziest mission. Here we go. How do I use the parachute? Slower for faster. Open the parachute, okay. There's the plane. Into the river, right? Yeah, straight into the river. Oh, we can go for it, actually. Can't we just go grab the plane out of the river? Wow, the maneuverability on all vehicles and, and things in this game is also really nuts. Like, that, that was really easy to maneuver as well, the parachute. Mission passed, minor turbulence. Wow. That was probably the sickest mission so far. That was so fun. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage. The cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? Ah. But I'm using them, alright? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Good lord of us. Oh, here we go. We got B and L right next to us. Don't even have to go that far. Oh, probably because we're gonna have to buy like swim gear, maybe. If I had to guess. Is there anyone here? Maybe we go up the top? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this... This here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go! Fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're 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 totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, alright? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry. But we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one. Nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Now listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, 
weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. Get in your car. Whoop, wrong way. Nice. I think this is like his meth lab setup in here. Come on, Trev. Go to Polito Bay. Ah, oh, here we go. 3.8 miles away. Wow. Alright, we're in for a drive. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Alright, there we go. Alright, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh. Oh. This hey, seems like you're going to be carrying that kind of change. Local law enforcement extortion. Oh, mighty turns just then. Four houses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. No. I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What? the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. A hipster. <laughs> I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. It'll be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. All right, here we go. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS?
Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's just throwing rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna break your fucking fingers Such you don't knock kid. that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm -hmm. oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. To the bank? Are you already rubbing something? I will go to the front of the bank. Clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They'll take us around back. Okay. Drive to the lot next door. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. Oh, whoops. I like it. The place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. We're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Focus on the alarm? That thing in the middle? Police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Alright. Alright. Seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Hmm. Yeah, they're taking a little bit of time. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many. We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Toledo Radio, this is Toledo Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! She's with Michael and Trevor? Oh, uh, she's Trevor. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one. This'll be interesting now. Race Michael to Trevor's office. I think we're gonna win on the motorbike. Get rid of the radio. No distractions, please. I mean, we should win on a motorbike, that's for sure. Oh, they're right behind us, though. Wow. They are moving. <laughs> a bit of casual wildlife. Yeah, they are right behind us. 
I think we should win though. As long as we don't get knocked off by a deal. Or that. Yeah, we're still in front. <laughs> uh, let's just call that a shortcut. <laughs> Can't believe how fast Mike was driving though. Like they are flying. Like I'm moving this fast on a on a motorbike. I can't believe they're they don't go in this fast in the car. Hey, bad ass. <laughs> yep, yeah, zero point six miles. Coming up on the left. Too easy, mate. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Here you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention. Good. Oh, we're setting up the next heist. Maybe again. Longer than I have to. Yeah. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you got to face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Okay. Max health, accuracy. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. He only takes 12%. And he has a good accuracy, good weapon choice. Yeah, actually, let's, let's take chef. You sure this is the guy? Yep. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll get a motel, thanks. Come on, to yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? It's a back in the fridge. <laughs> That's about right. Ah, what a great feed. <laughs> Reheated bloody gas station food. <laughs> Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. 
I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay. Well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael, and we'll come to you. T, hey, man.